Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Susie and I do plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm so happy to have you. Please hit the subscribe button down below. I want to have you as a part of my YouTube family. For today's video, we're doing something really exciting. One thing we're going to address in this video is the hats that are behind me on the wall. I get so many comments about where they're from and I get them at a lot of different places, but I'm going to dive into a few, like probably about three of my favorite places to get a good quality hat and why I love them. Um, but the main reason why we're here is because I'm trying on wigs. I'm so excited. I can't remember. I don't think I've ever tried on a wig except for when I used to dress up for Halloween with my friends and we might have tried on some like wigs from like value village or something in their halloween department or something like that but um i'm really excited because these are actually legitimate wigs a company sent me three of them the company is actually like asas hair i will link them down below for you guys but before we get into the wig part of it i'm going to talk about a few of the hats so this hat here is one of my favorites and this is from lack of colors i absolutely love this hat i don't think i'll be able to find the exact one but if i can i will link it for you guys otherwise i'll just link their website because there's so many different styles but I love this hat because I feel like it is the perfect color brown and it's not too like dramatic the brim isn't too big where you can wear this all the time and um yeah these hats are a bit on the pricey side because you can always go to like H&M or um Aldo accessories to find some hats but if you want something that's going to last you well and the ones I'm always wearing they're normally over 100 to 150 if not even more because they're like pretty much like an investment that you make because you I wear them a lot so for me it's worth it so this is one of them that's my absolute favorite I love it so lack of colors is where I got it um I'm gonna hang that back up and then I'm gonna talk about this hat here so this one is from Gigi Pip it's a very very luxury hat it actually has like satin on the inside a lot of these have adjustable like um bands on the inside so you can make them like fit your head perfectly um that's what this one here looks like i love this hat it's very neutral it's got that rancher style um that's a lot different than the other one that i that i tried on just really really like versatile and neutral so you can wear it with so many different things and i wear this hat like throughout the summer the fall um pretty much all year round you can wear a hat like this you could wear it more like this if that's more your style tilt it on your head whatever you want honestly you can do so many things with hats and they're my favorite accessory for a reason so really happy that i've got to be able to like address these questions that i get a lot about the hats that i'm always wearing so yeah if you guys want to see how i style them follow me on instagram i'll leave it here in the screen um that way you guys can kind of get some idea for style inspo in general um i post a lot of things on my like to know it and instagram so i'm going to leave that for you guys um yeah so this is one of definitely one of my favorite places to get hats from is gg pip all right, so enough about hats. Let's get into these wigs. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to leave it all down below like I already mentioned, but this first one. Okay, so it comes with a brush and a wig cap, which I need. I am extremely scared to put this on because I don't know how I'm going to be able to even put a wig on my head with my hair and stuff, but you know what? It might be a struggle, but we're going to do it. I'm so excited. All right, let's see what this first wig is. Oh my gosh, the color looks stunning. Okay, um, there's gotta be a way to remove this. All right, so the first wig, um, there's some tissue in here. Let's remove that. But it looks like this. This is so gorgeous. I've never had pink hair or any colored hair for, for that fact. And that has bangs in the front. Um, and then it's got like a, I don't know, like little like clippies on the inside. I guess where you can adjust it around your head, um, which is probably gonna be helpful to kind of make it stay. But I'm impressed with how good it feels and it's not stripy, like it actually has shine and stuff to it. I'm excited to see what I'm gonna look like with pink hair and bangs. Maybe I'll try on some of the hats with these um, wigs, but I'm so excited guys. Look how gorgeous and it's pretty long. Like it's probably gonna come pretty long on me. Um, let me get this wig cap on my hair and show you guys what this looks like all right guys i'm actually a little bit terrified like i don't know if i hate this or i hate it like obviously like a wig you can always tell it's not your real hair because like the area is kind of i don't know it's like hard to make it blend but obviously it's more like it's a synthetic wig so it is what it is but honestly it's so crazy seeing myself in pink hair and in long hair again nonetheless like let's try it on with this hat see how we feel making that my hat's a little bit tighter 
but guys that's what i look like with long pink hair i kind of feel like a disney princess but also at the same time i feel like i'm just dressing up for halloween let me know you guys thoughts please rate all of these wigs um one through ten let me know what your favorite is things like that because this is fun to put on like i'm definitely excited to have it and just randomly put it on but i don't get i don't know i think it's something to get used to for sure all right next one we've got also comes with a wig cap and a brush um this one looks like it's more like a natural like ombre sort of like what my hair is now except just longer yeah okay that's pretty much what it looks like all right so Again, it's got tissue in here, and that's what we're looking at. Wow, it looks so shiny, and the hair looks so real. Like, I'm just really impressed with how real the hair looks. And then again, it's got bangs. I think they might all have bangs, just because I find I was... Um, there was like a while ago that Jacqueline Hale was always wearing wigs and she was getting ones that she could just, um, that kind of had bangs and she just threw hats on with them. And I feel like if I like the way wigs look on me, I think I would actually wear them, um, for days that my hair is dirty and I would just throw on a cap, um, especially in the fall. So that's this one here. So, so cute. Um, more natural, but pretty much the same idea. Let's try it out. Okay, this wig is absolutely stunning. It's very much like my hair color, except longer. I don't really like the bangs on this one. I feel like they're kind of chunky, but I'd probably just texturize them with a scissor. Um, but honestly, I'm this is making me miss my long hair. Now I'm like, why did I cut my hair? Because I just miss having hair like this. So cute. I'm just really impressed with the shine of these. You know, the shine is really beautiful on them. I brought a ha another hat down so I can try it on with with a hat again. I'm feeling it. This is giving me so much fall vibes. This one I will definitely wear out of the house with like hats and stuff in the fall when I don't want to do my hair um, and just want to like switch it up. But I don't know what to do with the bangs, guys. Clearly, I don't like them because I can't seem to stop playing with them. But you guys are kind of getting the idea of what this one looks like. Very beautiful, same length, just uh, just stunning. Okay, this one I am so excited about. Um, this is the last one because I always said that if I dyed my hair like an actual color, it would be like dark orange or like an auburn color. And um, this is exactly the color I would dye my hair if I ever did color. Um, let me know if you guys think I should dye my hair this color. But this is like more straight and it's like this gorgeous like... Ah, this is like pumpkin spice in a wig. So beautiful. I feel like this will complement my eyes really well because I do have blue eyes. But it just looks really good. Like the quality of these are amazing. I didn't even think that wigs could be this nice. Definitely impressive. So let's try this last one on and see what we think. All right, and now for the last wig. Honestly, I could see myself dyeing my hair this color. Um, obviously, you can tell this isn't my hair because it's not that... You know, it's a wig, but how are we feeling about this, guys? Like, do we like it? Do we like this color on me? Because in the future, I think I will be dyeing my hair this color. Um, and this is just, like, straight, very sleek. Um, I don't know. I still got this hat down here. I guess I could try it on. You know, it's a mood. I feel like it's a mood. Hat and hair. I can't stop, like, looking at myself in this. It seems so crazy. It's so long and beautiful. So long and beautiful. But... That's uh, that's the final wig bangs on all of them. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know. I can always try to do it again with maybe more colored wigs or shorter wigs or whatever. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you want me to do it again and what kind of wigs I should get because I'd totally be down to make another video in the future. But this is so fun. So fun. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.